Well then, legendary landscape designer Bunny Williams. Yes. This week on the podcast, we are celebrating the month of September, or as it is more well known on the internet, Halloween Eve. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next month is October, and a lot of important things happen in October. October's a big month, and people are excited about October. So many things, oh, so many things happen in October. Of course, when people think of October, they think of two things. Number one, Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes. I think that's the first thing on people's minds. And number two... Uh, Woodmas, the Ed Wood Christmas. It's on October 10th, people. Look it up. Yes. Now, it's not just Woodmas and Canadian Thanksgiving that happen in October. There's a lot of other things that happen in October. According to Bing.com, which is a thing I use instead of Google because I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm basically a ticker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I use B. I use Bing. B I N G. That spells Bing. Ooh. <laughs> According to Bing, the first full week of October is actually Get Organized Week. So that's uh. Or wait, uh, is it the second week, or is it the first week? Damn it, I'm not well organized. Oh shit! I just ruined Get Organized Week with my unorganization. Yeah. Irony. Did you also know, Bunny, that October is Raptor Month? It's 100% true. Raptor October, Month. October is Raptor Month. So be sure to put up your raptor tree. Be sure to hang up your raptor stockings and hide your raptor eggs under your pillow yes. for the raptor fairy. October is also, this is another uh, true thing. October is also National Sarcasm Month. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't wait for Sarcasm Month. October. You know who else is excited for Sarcasm Month? Amber. She's <laughs> so excited for Sarcasm Month. October is, is when I, I feel a little twinge and miss New York. Oh, you feel a twinge, do you? Yeah, nothing serious. Not a big twinge. But but fall is really not quite the same in Colorado. Yeah. We don't really have have trees, you know. And yeah. what we do, we ha are evergreen trees, you know, columbines and aspens and stuff like that. So if it wasn't for the for the coldness of the weather and pumpkin spice ads i wouldn't know but new york was yeah. beautiful <sighs> i went to new york in november once my dad ran the new york city marathon yeah and the first thing we got into a taxi and we're driving through New York, and I'm like, oh, man, we're in New York. I'm so excited. We're riding a taxi in New York. It, wow, I can't I, I can't wait to see what we're going to see. And that's a man peeing. <laughs> that happened quicker than I was expecting. Yep, that man's peeing on the street. Well, let me tell you how. See, see first off, it's only a twinge for New York, because New York is not New twinge. York anymore for me. You know? Yeah. Giuliani did way too good of a job of cleaning up New York and it's no fun anymore. You know, it used to be fun when I was a kid, you know, 18, 20, whatever, you know, in there and be like, you know, let's go to New York because we could die there. You know, <laughs> yeah. it was dangerous. That's the same way, that's the same way uh, people in Phoenix uh, treat Tucson. Yeah. So like like um, where I was on Long Island, it was like easy. You just drive to the train station, which is only about ten miles away. You take a train into Penn Station, you know. And I, I even worked in New York City for a while, so I would do that commute every day. Okay, 
But yeah. when you're in New York and you're you're especially in New York at that period in history, you get cold really quick. Yeah. You know? Because there were guys peeing and guys in trash cans and, you know, the homeless people were all over, you know. And when you would get into Penn Station, you could take the escalator up to 7th Avenue and you would cross at the light. Okay. But now if you were a savvy New Yorker, what you realized is that if you don't take the escalator, you walk through the subway and you, you come out under the Statler hotel on the other side of the street and you come up and you're on the other side of the street. Okay. So you don't have to wait for the light. Ah, gotcha. But that walk reminds me of of the end of the movie, the Sentinel. Hmm. Okay. There are, it's full of Morlocks. It is literally, it is literally full of Morlocks, you know, that all sleep in this, in this tunnel, you know? So there are old bag ladies and homeless people and people shooting up and people taking shits as you're walking by and, and veterans without legs and without arms and all, all kinds, all kinds, you know? And, And that's, and you take that walk, that, that horrible walk, so that you don't have to wait on wait for a traffic light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only the savvy New Yorkers knew that, though. Yeah, it's like I could so just get killed down here. Yeah. Nice. You know, you would you you, you on this walk, you would see people who were definitely eyeballing you. You know, eyeballing you as as you went by and maybe making a move of some sort and you just give them that the crazy face. The crazy yeah, Forrest don't Whitaker fuck eye. with me face. Yeah. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker eye. And then they're like, okay, that one will fight back. I'll just stay here. <laughs> yeah. But we uh, were talking about fall. Oh no, we were talking about holidays. We were talking about October. That's yes. what we were talking about. October 11th, the day after Woodmas, is National Take Your Teddy Bear to Work Day. Seriously, who makes up these fucking holidays? <laughs> I always wondered that because there's like the major holidays and then there's those ones that don't count that no one really knows about except for uh, morning radio DJs and that one person at your job. Yeah. Happy National Take Your Secretary to Lunch Day. <laughs> oh, how come you're not wearing a festive tie for National Talk Like a Pirate Day? How come you're not wearing a pirate tie? <laughs> like, like, I swear to God, people are just making this shit up, which is why I am announcing right now mm-hmm. that September 17th is now... Now that I've announced it, National Masturbate with Your Left Hand Day. Ooh. September 17th, National Masturbate with Your Left Hand Day. Toss it up a little bit, you know? Can, can, we, can we combine that with the stranger? Possibly. Because that would be doubly strange. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it all depends on, on how you celebrate the day. Yeah. Some people celebrate it different. What if yeah. what if you are left-handed? That seems unfair. Uh, then you just don't celebrate. You're not allowed. You're not okay. You're not allowed. Fuck you, left-handed people. So here's 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 this this here is is true, and it, it blows my mind. October twenty second is two different days. Okay. Okay. We had we had a bit of homework here on the the Pope on Film podcast that I think dealt with this holiday. October twenty second is National Mother in Law Day. 
Right. Okay. And and National Nut Day. I believe we covered National Nut Day. Yeah, so hey, October 22nd is National Nut Your Mother-in-Law Day. <laughs> so Basically, October 22nd is Which was is National right, which was Porn also Hub a Day. homework. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. October 22nd is National Pornhub Day because it's National Nut Your Mother-in-Law Day, so that works. Yes. Also, apparently, October is this thing called Halloween. Apparently, it's a holiday that has something to do with candy. I don't know. I, I've heard also, of it. Yeah. Also in October is probably one of the biggest and best days of the year. Bunny's birthday. Yes. So Bunny, as is his right, will be choosing a whole month of scary movies and horror movies and spooky films and noir and whatever the hell he wants. I, to compliment and I his, have I have no idea yet. I, I figured that when I mentioned this, that you would say that. That is what I figured would happen. So you might have to pick my favorite movies for me. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see what happens. You still have some time. Because I'm feeling like a lot of a lot of my movies would be kind of pedestrian, you know. Like I I love the Usual Suspects, and I love the Thing. But I also think like I, I should only pick three out of the month because I think we we do need to celebrate Woodman's Day. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, Woodman's is on a Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would we you, yeah okay, yeah. But we'll see what happens. But still, it is your right to pick a whole month of movies to compliment your birthday, as Maxwell calls it. 